Hello, Eller. Today in Springsteen in Europe, we're in... Europe! In this video I will be at the roll call directly after the show of Bruce Springsteen on Saturday. He's giving free shows here in Göteborg and I saw that about 70 people were leaving the show before it was done to be certain of a low number to be in the front rows the next show. And one more thing, the management of Bruce Springsteen decided that there was a roll call at 9 o'clock so everybody had to check in at 9 o'clock and Bruce Springsteen was starting his show at 8 o'clock. So in that way they were preventing that all the time the same people are at the front barrier standing there. Anyway, first I'm going to the Olevi Stadium to talk with fans about Bruce Springsteen and Göteborg. You're going to the show tonight? Yeah, I'm going to all three of them. All three? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I cannot miss a show when you Have you been before here? In, uh, yeah, we uh, have. We actually, uh, we actually counted the number of this concerts. is our 20 year anniversary on the day. Yeah, on the day actually. It was on of you two. No, on, on Bruce, on Ullevi. Because ah. in 20 years ago, yeah, to 2003, uh, he yes. played the same day, the same venue, and it's 20 years on the day today. And he was here. Yeah, on yeah. Midsummer Day. Yeah. So probably Bruce planned it to play at this day here. Maybe. We hope yeah, so. We'd course. like to think so. This We're is Swiss. a special day for Bruce <laughs> as well. You're from England? I'm from England, yes, England, yes. It's yes. the first time in Gothenburg? It is, yeah, my first time. I'm here Saturday and Monday. And, and do you have a clue uh, why Bruce Springsteen loves Gothenburg? I think it's because Clarence Clements uh, had a connection with the city or, or the country, sorry, Sweden. I believe he lived here for a period of time, but um, you'd have to check that. But I talked to a man, he said Clarence Clements lived in uh, Gothenburg or Sweden, is that true or do you know that? He's, he had a Swedish wife called Christina and she comes from Gothenburg or from Mendal, which is a suburb of Gothenburg. That's the story. And that's the story and that's the connection. So he spent all his Christmases in Gothenburg and that, while they were married. Clarence? Yes. And then Bruce came to visit him, of course. I don't know if he did. <laughs> That I haven't asked them. I, I know some of the relatives, but I had never asked them. Oh, you want an autograph? Beer, beer swap it. Yeah, I want that. You want it? Yeah, I want it. And you're going to fix it? Yes, of Hopefully. course. Hopefully. So, an autograph and not a harmonica. The most girls want a harmonica. No, I want an autograph for my dad. Okay. That's I don't about the harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but yeah, exactly, and you're from Sweden? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the magic between Sweden, Gothenburg and Bruce Springsteen? Explain that to me, because it, here is something with Bruce, I, I, what is it? Yeah, I think it's the, the, the historical uh, concert in 85 when he rocked the stadium so the concrete was cracking up. He broke on the dead, what's it called? Twist, Twi twist and shout. Twist and shout. The stadium breaker. The stadium. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it did. So it was closed for two weeks because they had to renovate. <laughs> and it was here in this yeah, stadium? Yeah, it was in this stadium. I didn't know that. No. Well, that was the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it is. And a lot of people are crazy about Bruce here, I yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's the... It's the aura. The, yeah, the, the aura and the magic connection he gets with the, the public. And I heard that Bruce comes also for holidays here, or is that not... Uh, he, he actually had f um, celebrated the uh, midsummer here. Uh, and I think that was... Oh, I don't remember. Two, 2012 or something. He was in the in the out at, at, at the coast uh, celebrating with some uh, big shot from Sony Music or something like that. Yeah, that that was for his holiday. Yeah, yeah. But he's now back. He is yeah. back. But, but he is back. It's the same day. Yeah, it is. It is. So it's tradition. You're from Sweden, I yes. understand. Yes. And you were there in '85. In '85, yes. Can you? What happened at that moment? <laughs> what, what, what? Actually, it was my first concert. I was yeah. 19 years old and I uh, had um, not been uh, drinking water so much. I was, was a little tired at the end. So I went in the middle uh, in the stand and I sat down. I took a uh, Coca-Cola and uh, sat down on the Yes. 
and uh, no, I was I, I, I feeling give the ground was giving it away. It's oh, free. Boom, yeah. It's a to to the moving. Oh, the ground was moving. Wall, yeah, yes. moving. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to faint because I, I yeah, haven't no, been drinking water. And I sat there and I drank my coke and I said, yeah. okay, it's not stopping. It's still moving. Yeah. And then I, I uh, get up yeah. and afterwards I understood I that it wasn't my brain. It was the ground moving, and it really no, could I'm move. It, it like it, like waves like this. this. Yeah, then, and there was also damage on the yes. thing. Yes, it was uh, cracked. I, I actually don't know, but uh, Gothenburg has a special place in his heart, I guess, because ev when Bruce is coming, he everyone lets everything go. Ev Every restaurant playing Bruce Springsteen music, they change the menus to Bruce Springsteen men uh, songs, and yeah, everyone wants to go and see Springsteen. And also, uh, he's been really big in Sweden ever since he came here in '75. Mm -hmm. We embraced him even then, and he's been playing in Gothenburg since '81. So yes, and, and in this stadium, he played also in '85. Uh, '85 huh? and wrecked it. <laughs> what happened then? He cracked it. Everyone started jumping to Dancing in the Dark and yeah. twist and shout. <laughs> so the foundation cracked and they had to shut it down for three, four years yeah. to repair it. Yeah, Gothenburg is built on clay, that's why. And so this, the vibration made it. So now they reinforced the stadium and mm -hmm. now it's good to go with the concerts again. Okay, it's safe to go to see him now? Yeah, yes, it's safe. There's it's still safe. some cracks, but okay. Yeah, it's okay. But we are normally always with the three doing the concert off. Yeah. yeah. Alleen nu is onze vader die zag even helaas niet overheen om, nee, om, te, komen. om ja. te komen. Dus we willen pa, we denken aan je. En we genieten, we genieten dubbel zo hard voor jou, pa. Dat hij er niet is. Ja. Nee, dat hij meeluistert natuurlijk. Oh, luistert het natuurlijk. Go to other artists as well, of only Bruce? Many, yeah, I've been to hundreds of gigs over the years, you know. I stopped, my first gig was 1979 and I've been going to gigs ever since, but Springsteen's the best, by miles, by a long way. And why is he the best? Because he has a connection with everyone, you feel it in the crowd, it's an emotional wave that you kind of experience together. And uh, you, your last show was in Birmingham? Yes, yeah, yeah, and in Dublin in before that, yeah. And you, in Birmingham you told me before you were standing on the stand and what happened with Bruce? Well, I'd like to think he came over and waved at me, he waved in my general direction but I'm going to take it to my grave that he waved at me. <laughs> because you were the only one on the stand? I was the only one standing in my section, yeah, at the time. When you Springsteen and Göteborg, what's the magic? Uh, can you explain it? It's something. Yes, I think there's it's something. I I can't explain it, but I think it's it's uh, just a feeling uh, that he likes it here, and it's uh, Gothenburg is like a, a working city, and I think that's something we can relate to with him. And I think that's, that's um, well, it's just this, this feeling. I've been to Stockholm a couple of times on Springsteen, but it's not really the same. It's not. <laughs> you were yesterday with the show, right? Yes, yes. Oh, and it was like old, old fashioned uh, show of Springsteen? Yes, I think it was. It was a little, uh, the audience was a little tired in the beginning, but, but uh, they uh, got around. So I think it's, it's, uh, it was nice, yes, I like it. I heard some stories that you have some complaints about the set list. Ich kann sie nicht verstehen. Uh, können Sie Deutsch sprechen? Ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen? Ja, sehr gut. Ich habe gehört, dass, dass du ein bisschen Probleme hast mit uh, der Setlist. Nein, nicht mehr. Ich habe meinen Frieden gefunden mittlerweile mit ja? der Setlist, ja. Ist keine Probleme? Nein, alles wunderbar. Und was ist dein erster Lied, Blues uh, Plays uh, heute Abend? Heute spielt er My Love Will Not Let You Down. Maar, maar jullie zijn een vriendengroep, begrijp ik? Ja, ja, we ja, zijn ja. een vriendengroep. Altijd Normaal met z'n vieren. Ja. ja. En altijd op stap. Maar nu, jullie zijn nu met z'n drieën. We zijn met z'n drieën, we missen er een. Die ja. moet helaas zitten. Ja. Het is Herman. Ja. Dus we willen even de groeten doen naar Herman. Ja. Hé hey Herman. Herman. Lekker zitten, jongen. Ja, lekker zitten. Jij ja, gaat in de pit. Ja, ja en even wel een fotootje maken. maken. Ja, jullie wel. Hallo. 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 Veel plezier, hè? Ja, dank je wel. Hoi. 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 Hoi.
popular here and he's giving free shows here. Why, why, why is it? Uh, the common saying, uh, or what we Swedes like to think, is that uh, Gothenburg is uh, Springsteen's second hometown. Uh, before and also I think this year he was here to celebrate Midsummer, which is a typically Swedish uh, Swedish celebration. Mm -hmm. They don't have Midsummer in the US. So uh, maybe that's why he likes Sweden in the summer and Gothenburg. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just tuning it and I'll jump in when he is in trouble. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, if he's I'm gonna he, save the show. He, and, uh, in Amsterdam he, he fell a little bit. Yeah. So then you should be there. Yeah. You will see me like the flash. Boom! I'm on stage. <laughs> but is it also is there also another story with the guitar or? No, not actually. I, I made it myself. It. Oh, you made it yourself. Yeah, and I had it printed on this uh, kind of foam uh, foam stuff. Yeah. So it's uh, waterproof. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And you so bring it each show with you. Yeah, of course. I need Bruce to uh, to spot it. Yes, and, and where are you from? I'm from Denmark. What's the special connection of Bruce Springsteen with uh, Göteborg? Ah. What, can you give an objective uh, opinion about it? Because I asked Swedish people, why Göteborg? It's uh, it's legendary. It's, uh, the fans are very dedicated and. Uh, it's nice people and Bruce knows this. He he offers some some special uh, songs also. So and while Bruce Springsteen is still playing in the stadium, the first people are getting out already to collect a number. It's happening right here behind me. People are collecting a number to be in the front rows for the next show. It's now Saturday and the next show will be on Monday. How many people are you expecting uh, after the show? Thousands. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you? Uh, really, really, I think 150 to 200, I think. So, yeah. so the first did come, and have, do we have experience? Have you done it before during a show, show a roll call? Uh, yeah, yeah, in Dublin, uh, we did the second show, and in, in Paris as well. And when, when will most people come? Do they leave with the last you, song? You never can say it exactly. It's, it can be early, it can be later. No one knows. It's happened when it happened. They're almost there, huh? Yeah, right. Be prepared and do, do, do the job. Two more songs, I guess, or Glory Days, um, East Street Shuffle. East Street Shuffle. Yeah, I think uh, when when East Street Shuffle wants yeah, the most, to try to get out and, and yeah, well, to come to us. We, we talked uh, before the show about leaving the show for the roll call. Yeah, you had a doubt. I had so my doubt. So you made the decision to do it. Yeah, I did because now, like maybe stand up front for the first time in my life. So yeah, that's that's why. That was the burden to leave. That was now. the sacrifice I did. Oh yeah, the, that's the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The word. yeah. But well, are you well, happy with the number now? I think so. One, two, six. Not too bad. Oh, you not too bad. Good. Yeah, it's good. I'm happy. Instead of in the back of the yeah. pit, you will stand at the front. Yeah, row. yeah. I will stand next to you probably. Good, good. I'm looking yeah, forward. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> One more time for Gothenburg. One more time for Gothenburg. One, two, three, no, four. Seriously. Land of hope and dreams was astonishing. That was a great show tonight. Yeah, how was the show? It was the best. I, I think this is the best of the tour I've seen. And were you uh, in front in the pit or? Yeah, yeah. It's great. Shit, there was now you will have a great number. Hey, it's Eddie. Uh, Eddie, hi, hi, Eddie, how are you? <laughs> no, awesome. Now you will be also with Hunter. Okay. Last name? Hey, Last Johansson, Jay. Yeah. Good to and see you. And where are you from? Uh, here, Gothenburg. Oh, cool. Yeah, from the city. I have a question for you. Yeah. What's the special connection between Bruce Springsteen and Gothenburg? What, what, what uh, is it? I think it's. Um, I was actually in a podcast talking about this. It's online. I'll share it with right, you. Yeah. Uh, with uh, the newspaper here, but I think the the relationship here is. Um, he's been here since '85 and was a huge thing. You know when he broke the stadium, right? Mm -hmm. And that just that connection he built then, I think, has always just lasted through all the years he's been here, mm -hmm. and also. The audience here is fantastic. You know, the audience is just magical, and he loves that. You know, when people are supposed to be quiet, most people are you know just quiet, so he can play off that. And he just, he just he's just so connected to the audience here that he gives everything he can do, and then we give it back to him, right? Yes. So it's just it's just it makes one plus one is three, right? 
and so it's just something about I think the people just the people and probably the city too and usually it's here in the summertime and it's just just amazing amazing nights and I heard a story maybe about Clarence Clemens he had also a connection with Gothenburg in yeah. Sweden what's that about I don't, I don't understand it yet. oh but he was married he yeah he was married also to I think a Swedish woman uh -huh. oh well I'm not 100% sure but he was in Stockholm a lot, and his son, J. Um, no, whatever his name is, he was here a lot in Sweden, and he loved Sweden. And you know, he played the Jungle Land solo here the first time ever after Clarence's death. Yeah. So the Clar the Jungle Land solo was never played after Clarence passed away, but the first time they ever did it unrehearsed was here, Ullevi Stadium, Gothenburg. Would he play Quite it uh, on Monday? Oh, could be. He didn't could do be. it this time. Huh? No. We could not tonight, but you know it could be it could be Monday or Wednesday. So we talked with each other before the show, the first show on Saturday. Yeah. And uh, you decided to uh, uh, do the roll call for the second one. Yes. And yeah. the roll call was at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yeah. One hour after the first show started. Yes. And yes. how did you do it? Uh, we did like this. We took a number for the second show, seventy-five. And uh, then we decided to uh, see outside if there was someone selling tickets last minute. And we found a guy who sold us tickets for 20 euro. So we bought tickets, we went inside on the like regular standing area. We watched the first 40 minutes of the show. We ran out, uh, participated in the roll call. And then we used our regular tickets to get in again and watch the rest of the show. So we, we missed in total three songs, I think. Yeah. So that's what we did. And now you're in front, front I am, line. I am in front line and for I, the second they, one. They're shouting now, I think we're going in almost. Yeah, The road is long and seeming without end. The days just go on, but I remember you, my friend. And though you're gone, and my heart's been emptied, it seems I'll see you in my 